Life is not soft. Life is very, very hard and there is little to nothing that you can do to escape the suffering that is integral to living. But what you can do is alleviate or lessen the impact of life's hardships. So today I'm gonna to share with you four intentional living habits that you can and should practice on a daily basis so that you can learn how to live a soft life for the rest of your life. So the first intentional living habit that I would recommend for living a softer life is to do at least one good thing for yourself every single day. And this is actually a really easy habit to adopt because all you have to do is do what you normally would in a day and just try to make it 1% better. For instance, let's say that you have a 30 minute commute to work or maybe 45 minutes or maybe even an hour. You can use that time to listen to a motivational podcast or an educational video. Or let's say when you come home, you know that you have a ton of laundry to do or dishes that are just stacked up in the sink. Use that time to put on a face mask, pour yourself up a glass of wine, put some nice music on, or you can use that time to decondition your hair, put on a plastic cap, and just go about your afternoon or your evening. You want to try to find ways to give back to yourself, in particular when you are doing things that require you to expend or put forth, put out energy. And whatever good deed or good deeds that you choose to do for yourself, you want to make sure that they are deeds that allow your life to be softer now, but also help to make your life softer later on as well and that these are deeds that move you closer that push you a step forward towards your ideal life so for instance let's say that you want to live in an oceanfront property someday then a couple days a week actually drive to the beach or to the closest lake or river or whatever body of water is nearby and if that's something that's not accessible to you then that's okay when you come home, take a nice bath or a really long refreshing shower. Or if that's something that you can't do for whatever reason, then just put some ocean waves on TV and pour up some sea salts and just smell them and really allow yourself to sink into the moment. I know that sounds really silly, but I actually do that a lot when meditating because the ocean is my safe space. And sometimes, you know, I can't really take a shower or a bath right now. I can't just drive out to the beach. So I can, most of the time, I can always put on some ocean waves. I can grab a little bit of sea salt from out of the kitchen and just smell those scents, listen to those sounds, and I can treat myself to something that is a reflection of my ideal life. Whether it is two hours or two minutes of your time, there is absolutely no reason why you cannot do at least one good thing for yourself every single day. You cannot tell me that there is an excuse because there is no excuse. No. So the second of my soft life tips is to treat yourself like a child who you want to grow into a healthy, well-adjusted adult. And I make this distinction from a child to a child who you want to grow into a healthy, happy, well-adjusted adult because here's the thing, you are an adult. Yes, you are a child in the grand scheme of life. You are a child of the universe. You are a child of God. But to these bills and to those taxes, you are a fully grown adult. So it's really important that as an adult, you hold yourself accountable for your mindset, for your actions, and for your behaviors. And at the same time, taking accountability for yourself does not mean being mean to yourself. It doesn't mean being cruel to yourself. It doesn't mean tearing yourself down. When I say treat yourself like a child, I mean 
offer to yourself the same warmth, compassion, and forgiveness that you would offer to a child. Because again, no matter how old you are, you are still a child in the grand scheme of life and of living. There is no one, no matter how old they are, there is no one who knows it all, who has done it all, and who has nothing left to do. We are all always learning something new. But remember, you do want this child to be happy, to be healthy, and it's important that you establish boundaries with this child. And remember that the child I'm speaking of is yourself, or you could think of it as your inner child. You want to make sure that you instill proper values and morals and just a way of maneuvering and showing up in the world into this child. So the third of my soft life tips, and you know, honestly, this is probably my second favorite. I think the next one is gonna be my absolute favorite. But the third of my soft life tips is to actually incorporate more soft things into your life. Now, I don't mean just go out and buy every single silk dress, silk skirt, silk shirt, satin pillowcase that you can find. I mean do so in a sustainable, resourceful, and meaningful way. For me, this means keeping my skin soft. I am the queen of moisturizing, exfoliating, and doing all the things necessary to just keep my skin feeling like baby soft. And that's because for me, I don't necessarily want to go out and buy a ton of things to put on my body to feel soft or buying a ton of blankets or a ton of whatever you may have to just touch and to have that softness. I want myself something that I can touch at all times. I want myself to be soft. And when I feel soft, like when my skin feels soft and smooth, it actually makes me as a person, like it makes me feel softer. I am much more tender and delicate and compassionate with myself when I physically feel soft. And on days when I am not feeling soft, when I am feeling hairy and rough and raggedy, I do not have the same compassion and care and love for myself. So it's really important that you find ways to incorporate soft things into your life. That could be taking better care of your skin, or that could be wearing clothes that are really soft and have a nice texture. This could also mean like doing things that bring out the softer side of you, such as taking care of a child, taking care of a pet, taking care of a plant. That will definitely bring out a soft side of you to take care of something. But you want to incorporate soft, delicate, fragile, gentle things into your life that will encourage you to slow down, to appreciate the moment around you, to step into the body, and to just have softness in your life will make you a softer person. And my fourth and final and favorite tip for learning how to live a softer life is to create a long lasting and meaningful relationship with nature. There are so many black women who like to call themselves queens. There are so many women in general who like to call themselves queens, but there are a lot of black women who want to call themselves queens. And when you think back, there is no civilization that has had some sort of royalty or some sort of dynasty that that royalty was not founded in some way, shape, or form with a connection to the land. You cannot, I'm sorry, I hate to tell you this, I know it sounds harsh, but you cannot call yourself a queen if you have absolutely no relationship or no desire to have a relationship with the physical world, with the great outdoors, with mother nature. You are not a part from nature, you are a part of nature. And the more estranged that you feel from the ground beneath your feet and from the air that is going into your lungs, the more estranged you will be from your queenship. So much of what hardens us and what makes us so callous is that we 
place such significance and such importance on our individual lives and our individual responsibilities. But when you go outside and you see a tree that's like a hundred foot tall, that's been standing for thousands of years, you have no choice but to feel small. And I want you to remember that that is okay. You are small. We are small. But small does not mean insignificant. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. And I would love to know in the comments down below, what are some of your tips for Black women who are looking to live a softer, more graceful, more easeful, if that's even a word, <laughs> a more graceful, soft lifestyle. What are some of your tips? Please make sure to add them down below in the comments section. And until next time, stay safe, be well, and I will see all of you very, very soon. Bye, everyone.